down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, my niggas, they gon' spaz out. They Let's get YouTube. It's your boy, Jimmy Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get Let's Go, bringing y'all a Madden Ultimate Team update a video. Now, I told y'all, yo, we can either spend the 600, whatever, 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 and upgrade the team, or we can just wait till a milli. So, y'all say y'all want to wait till a meal. So, yesterday on stream, if you did not miss it, be sure to go check out my Twitch stream. Let me kill this nap real quick. I don't, boom, he's dead. I told you to stop flying around my space, but I told y'all, um, uh, we was on Twitch yesterday. We played a couple wagers. We won like four 30k wagers. We won a 50k wager. Somebody donated us 100k on stream. But so now we got our team, our coins up to 1.28 mil. So now it's time to upgrade the team. So this is how the team is looking right now. This is how the team's looking right now. Y'all know I like to go look at the auction block. And I don't go by names. If you're watching this video, I know y'all like, Jay Mill, get the Cam Newton, get this car, get this Tyron Matthew, or get this player. Like, look, a lot of people see. Big names in the NFL and things that translate to Madden and is and it's not the case a lot of the times. Like for it's instance, uh, Cam Newton, he is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. But in Madden, they made him so inaccurate. So even though he's a big name, it might seem like oh, get Cam Newton. He's a good player in real life. Not the case in Madden. He overthrows a lot. A lot of people who use Cam, I watch a lot of people who use Cam. He over makes a lot of overthrows. He makes a lot. Of, so though, I like to like look at the back of the car. I don't care. I don't care what his name is. If his stats are better than this person's stats, you gotta you gotta go with that better player. You feel me? So that's how I like to look at the auction block. So right now, I know I don't want to upgrade. I think I want to upgrade my corners. I maybe want to upgrade my right end, but definitely O line and definitely a new tight end. So let's go look at this auction block. But before we get into the video, make sure y'all smack a like on this video. If y'all want to see a pack opening. Let me know. Just smack like on the video. This video get 2,000 likes. We will do a team of the week pack opening. I'm not going to open packs if y'all don't want me to. But I know a lot of y'all like pack opening, so just let me know. But so this is the season we are in right now currently. I should be 10-0 in my Super Bowl already. But literally, they kicked me out the game because I got three delayed game penalties because I was on my phone on the stream. And look, I was up 21 to 13. They kicked me out the game. But we should be 10 and 0. We have our conference suit next in our Super Bowl next year. A lot of people be like, J Mail, you just you lose all the time. You just never post them. I I told y'all. If I like I wake up, I record via, I upload the video. If I lose, y'all will see it. But I can't help that I won all these games. You feel me? I, I can't help that. Uh, I just can't. And our head-to-head -head season's record is 73 and 18, five-game winning streak, four Super Bowl wins. Your boy got four. We trying to bring home five of them babies. Uh, but yeah, I'm 73 and 18. Uh, see, I don't hide nothing from y'all. A lot of YouTubers want to show y'all their record. Boom, that's my record. Y'all see my head-to-head -head seasons record? I will show y'all my head-to-head -head seasons record every video if y'all want me to do that. Right here, this man, Darius Slay. I really want to get him 88 speed, 86 zone cover, man coverage, 85 zone coverage. I honestly think he's a game changer. Uh, I looked at every other corner. Let me see if there, let me just look one more time. Let's look one more time, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to pick up Darius Slay, even though he's 200K, and I'm going to get Jason Verrett. But Jason Verrett, you actually get when you get level 29 and Mutt level, so I'm going to wait for that instead of buying him a wasting coin. But we're going to see if there's anybody else on the off. 83 speed, I can't deal with that. Like, y'all like, J-Mail, get Malcolm Butler. Or, and a lot of people go by overalls. Like, kids, if you out there, if somebody's a higher overall, you got to look at the back of the car. Look at this. He's a higher overall than uh, Darius Slay, but he has 83 speed, 83 acceleration, 82 agility. I mean, he's slow. He will get burnt on the outside. He will get burnt. But that's just how that works. So, Casey Hayward, you see all these people, 83 speed. Good stats, but that speed is a liability. You don't want to be held li uh, it's liable. Malcolm Butler, same thing, 83 speed. He's not a bad cover two corner. Like, if you play a lot of cover two, he's perfect for that. But I just can't get him. But Janoris Jenkins also, I couldn't I couldn't do it. So, yeah, I think that's the corner we're going to go you with. got no choice but to pick this dude up. 88 speed, 85 zone, 86, man. His pressing, yeah, is a little bad, but he won't get by him. He got good play rate, and I'm only using him on the outside. And I mainly play cover four, cover three this year. So, he's perfect for me. Boom, we're going to pick him up. Right now, our corners are, where are we going to look? Our corners are Darius Slay, Kyle Fuller, Champ Bailey. Like I said, I'm waiting to get Jason Verrett on the other side. But then, this is the rest of the team we have, and right now, I'm looking and the guy i want to say one more thing because like i know a lot of people do pack open like i know what i'm saying i know we like to have fun but at the same time y'all have to remember it's all about your preference with ultimate team like 
I might, like, some of y'all might like Tampa 2 this year. I don't really play a lot of Tampa 2 or Cover 2. I used to last year. I don't really play a lot this year. So somebody who, if you play a, a Cover 2 style defense a lot, you might not need a bunch of speed at corners, and you might just only want zone coverage and play rec and catching because you sit there sitting in cloud flat. So you might want to get somebody like Richard Sherman, Marcus Peters, or that Casey Hayward. But like I said, it's all about y'all preference, y'all. And once you realize that with Ultimate Team, then that's when you become a lot better like like uh right now i'm not i'm only looking to get two corners because i mainly sit in nickel and three four so what's the point of having the four best corners in the game sometimes when i go in nickel i just want somebody fast because ma mainly when i'm in nickel 35 i i'm blitzing that corner so there's no really need for me to have a third like waste 200,000 coins on a third corner there's no need for that so sometimes y'all have to think what defense do you play most of the time and what players can be use most at that position so that's what i had to think about so now on offense i know uh i use that gum bunch tight end all the time that tight end corner route is literally very crucial and the inside zone game you know what i'm saying so i know i gotta upgrade my tight end o-line next that just that's just how that go bro so this is who i'm probably gonna pick up i want to pick up this uh jordan reed but i know a lot of people like yo go get the kellen winslow because this kellen winslow card is really good but i honestly been wanting jordan reed for a while and a lot of y'all and this is what i say y'all need to don't think of big names a lot of people will say get greg olsen or rob gronkowski but it's like oh 91 catching though 400,000 coins i will and so i don't got that much to spend so we're gonna go ahead and get jordan reed but a lot of people say like get someone like Gronk get someone like like i know like i'm like i'm just trying to teach y'all how to think so y'all can utilize this ultimate team the best way i can because a lot of people like i don't care if you i don't care if you got a budget team i don't care if you spend money on packs P people do whatever they want but a lot of people who do spend money on packs they would just try to get the best position at every player right but some of the but some of the people like like this god squad i went against uh the other day literally had all these good cards right uh he it wasn't really a god squad he was like 88 87 overall but he had like the four four the be, four the top corners in the game he had the best four receivers in the game but he mainly sat in i form and only two receiver sets the whole game so it was like why have why waste 400 500 000 coins on two other receivers if you're not ever going to utilize them so i know i don't go to dime right so i'm there's no point in me having three or four good corners. I got two good corners and the other corner I just need speed because I'm blitzing. So like I said, y'all, y'all gotta think of just think, okay, what do I run? What's my scheme? I run three wide receiver sets. So I there's no point of having a good fourth receiver. I can I can have a mediocre receiver at number four because I only run three wide receiver sets. Or do I run the ball that much? Do I really need a running back that's worth 500 k if I barely run the ball? I don't run the ball that much. That's why I have Melvin Gordon. Y'all like, yo, get Marshall Folk, get this dude. There's no point. Well, if I waste 400k on him, I can use that to uh, for a position I actually use on the field, like my tight end. That's why I'm about to go get he, Jordan and Reed. Jordan Reed's the best for my scheme because I pass the ball. Jordan Reed is a receiving tight end. Rob Gronkowski has 79 speed, 80 something catching. He can run block real good, but he doesn't got the receiving stats like Jordan Reed. So that's why we're gonna go get this boy. You feel me? So that's how y'all. Now y'all see. Once y'all start thinking of who you need for your scheme. You know what I'm saying? Then you will be a whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? So we got Jordan Reed. Okay, now next. Now that we got Jordan Reed, uh, j -Rod, I like my receivers. I like Big Ben at quarterback. I, like I said, I'm cool with Melvin Gordon. I don't really run the ball. I'm Emmanuel Sanders and Randy Moss. Maybe if we got something left over, we can replace Jerry Rice or get or get a better weapon than Emmanuel Sanders. But for right now, I want to take care of this O-line, starting with my right guard. Like, right guard, we're going to take care of this O-line. big. So I'm looking at this car, right? You see 88 overall. I'm looking at this car, but... Y'all see it says 88 run block. Phenomenal if you love to run the ball. 83 pass block. Y'all know I pass about 90% of the time. So that probably would not work out for me. He's no doubt he's a good car. He just don't fit my scheme. Uh, so I want y'all to start doing that. Every time y'all go look at a car, look at the back of the car. You feel me? And just see if he works towards your scheme. So I see him 88 overall. Zach Martin. Let's see if we got somebody a little cheaper with the same similar stats. And also another tip when y'all looking at this auction house. Say you looking at a car, right? Say you see a 90 overall car with 88 run block, 90 pass block, right? But then you see an 86 car with 89 run block and 88 pass block. And he goes for 60K cheaper. You need to take that cheaper car because he only has minus one stat in two categories. So wouldn't you rather, if you were, so I'm just saying the smart thing to do, save 60, 70K. And like, if they stats are, if they stats way off, yeah, get the better car. But if they stats are that close, 
then obviously save your coins if that's something you want to do. But if you can spend your money, you spend your money. But if not, I would really recognize you to save your coins. This card here, we have, let's compare him. 85 run block. He's definitely better. He definitely would be an upgrade on all So Go with uh, this right guard. I'm going to go with this right guard for 70K. And if he doesn't work out, then we can upgrade and get the uh, guard from the Browns for, like, you know what I'm saying, a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and get him. But I, you know what I'm saying? I want to keep these videos entertaining. That's what I know. I know that's our job to entertain y'all. But I also don't want to leave y'all hanging. You know what I'm saying? I want to tell y'all the ins and outs of Mutt to help y'all win as many games as possible. Because like I said, y'all, there's no point in wasting coins at a position when you can save those coins and get one one goon, you know what I'm saying, at a position you actually use. Like, so that's our right guard. Uh, do we need to upgrade our center? Let me see. This is who we're going to go with. Uh, his strength is low, but impact blocking is high. 87 pass block with 85 run block. Yes, he is 115K, but you also got to remember, when I, when, when I run that inside zone, my center, right guard, and left tackle is literally probably the most important positions on the field because uh they're the ones that decide whether i get blocked shut or not oh uh, this new team of the week car i'm looking at we got 121k for michael kendry right yes 84 speed 73 stream 84 tackle play rec 84 block shed. good 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 card so i'm looking at the stat just to make sure maybe i'm able to use him maybe i'm not so we're gonna look at his zone coverage just to see so we got ryan shazier middle linebacker 85 speed like this this card is ridiculous he's a user god if you use him you're using everybody anybody ever we're gonna buy ryan shazier car pick him up with a linebacker just 85 speed on the linebacker with 72 catch and you gotta pick that man up like he you know he's not the best middle linebacker in the game but like i said i utilize you can utilize this man to literally uh do whatever you want on the field like that's just how that works we could promote him to start. He's way better than Mark Barron. One more position. One more position I've been looking to upgrade is my right end and my free safety. That's that is one position I have been I have been looking to upgrade that position just because uh my right end don't really get a lot of shares. Uh, Frank Clark, Clip Avery is cool, but he's not the he not he's not the he's not the best in the seat. You feel me? And Amos is fast, but he doesn't make a lot of plays on the ball. So we gotta go get us a new. Something new, bro. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Y'all like J Man, what are you doing? We're gonna buy Eric Berry. We gonna but we're gonna pit him at the free safety position. I don't know why he's not a free safety this year, but it's like sometimes I do do that. Like y'all see, I, I will put Anthony Barr at, you know what I'm saying, middle linebacker, whatever. But that's just cause I would rather like a lot of people get so stuck on freaking just, you know what I'm saying, doing that thing and I don't like you gotta have a free safety at that position. We're gonna pit Eric Berry there. Eric Berry is better than every stat, like basically every stat basically that is how it go but he's not a strong say but i don't really care about chemistry at that point you know i don't really care for chemistry so now we got ryan she's here we doing our thing there so we should get jason verrett in a level up pack so we have 300k to spend um we're gonna look we're gonna look we got a manual maybe get a receiver after but we're gonna go look at uh right ends go look at right ends now just to see uh just to see uh, who, who's out there. Because I want to upgrade Cliff Able most definitely. I think that speed might come in more clutch with uh, with uh, Charles Haley. Because a lot of people use mobile quarterbacks in this game. So we're going to try him first. And he's cheaper. So we're going to pick him up. Boom. We got 114K left to spin, bro. Uh, so let's see what we're doing. Uh, we're going to pull him the starter real quick. Boom. Bada bada boom. Pow. Now we at 85 overall. So like I said, we did just spend $1 million. All right, y'all, so this is how the team looked after everything was upgraded. We got the new ride in Houston. Not the new one. But then we got Larry uh, Walford. Uh, I want to get a new right tackle. Maybe that's what we do before the video ends. Because we have 114K left over. Let me see. 83 run by 83 pass block. We go. Now, I think for right now we're good. I think for right now we're good. Because right, we have 114K. The, the NFL season about to start next week. Season stars coming, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be some better old linemen. So we don't got to rush anything, you feel me? So this is the upgraded team. Uh, you see, we got a new tight end like I've been waiting for. A uh, uh, couple new old linemen on the team just so we can get some extra blocking. Eric Berry did replace Amos. Uh, we did get Ryan Shazier, Bruce Irvin, and we still use Anthony Barr from time to time. We did get a new cornerback, Darius Slay, and we waiting for the level up pack for Mutt Level 29, and they give us Jason for Verrett when we open that pack. So then we're going to have him on the other side. Then we picked up Charles Haley. 
And now your boys have got 100k left and we got to stack our coins again and do our thing. But this is the team we got for right now. Let me know if there was somebody else I could have get. Uh, I wanted to get. I wanted to replace Rodney Harrison at strong safety. Didn't really see no other people. I want to replace him with his 89 overall card. Or I want to wait for his Twitch Prime card to put his stuff into uh, sets or whatever. But this is the team we got. Hope y'all enjoyed that. A million coins and upgrades. I told y'all I got y'all. I don't got the best team in the world. But I like to, I like to play how I like to play. You feel me? But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go. You got a D-Stack sweet.